Lyme disease, relapsing fever, Babesia, and other tick-borne diseases are on the rise across the United States and affect hundreds of thousands of Americans each year. If left untreated, a tick-borne disease can become a chronic condition, resulting in pain and discomfort in many areas of the body. Most tests for tick-borne diseases follow standards set 25 years ago when less was known about the diseases. This can often lead to misdiagnosis. Our next guest, Dr. Jyotsna Shah, wants to change that. Dr. Shah is the president of Igenix, a clinical laboratory based in California. For over 25 years, Igenix has been at the forefront of research and development of diagnostic tests for Lyme disease, relapsing fever, and other tick-borne diseases. As we learned, Igenix started incorporating what they were learning and incorporating in their tests so that we were more inclusive, for example. We were detecting the right antigens, the full spectrum of the disease rather than just the early disease, which the tests were designed for. Nobody was really looking at the late disease. We were because we're getting patients like that. Well, my daughter is a soccer player. A couple of years ago, we noticed that she wasn't running. She was just jogging. And we we're like, you know, Lucy, you have to run in your position. Started to wonder what was wrong. And then she would come home uh, from school and just take a nap in the middle of the afternoon. We got her tested, it turned out Indeed, she did have Babesia, she did have Lyme disease, and we went to Pacific Frontier Medical and they did a fantastic job of working with her on a treatment program and six months later she was cured. All the tests are designed to detect infections from anywhere in the world. If we have the right diagnosis, the physicians can then treat patients better. 